Hello everyone, so welcome to this reading. Hope you're well. Today I'm going to be doing a collective reading and I've chosen three different decks to go along with the spread, which is first of all going to cover your personal activation, what it is you need to activate in your personal self pertaining to your business and pertaining to your relationships. This can be family or friends. Okay? So I know that that covers the same thing for some people, but um, specifically this reading will be for your personal life, what it is you need to activate. Okay? What is it this collective needs to activate and then sell it? is being activated. Okay. Then we have what needs to be activated in your business. Okay. And finally we have what you need to know about your family or like I say your friends some people that's the same thing we got two cards uh, for some people friends are like family and that's or their um, original bloodline for example so it's whoever pops into your mind um, but yeah these are for Specifically family, okay? So here, what are we activating? Throat chakra, so it was upside down. So maybe there's been a bit of a struggle for some of us to express our voice, uh, really speak our truth, almost like we can't necessarily own our truth, we can't necessarily take responsibility for who we are and what we have to say. So we've kind of closed it down and said, no, I'm not going to speak up. I don't want people to see the real me. I'm afraid of what they'll do if they see the real me. And that has led to some difficulty, I'm sure. And now you're being called to activate the space, not be afraid to let people see who you really are because at the end of the day, you're having these thoughts anyways. You're speaking words to yourself about other people, about experiences it's all still there in the psychic realm but if you're not speaking it out loud you can't really be sure about what it is that you resonate with you can't really be sure about who you are as easily especially in conjunction pertaining to your relationships because other people don't know you as well if you're not necessarily speaking to them as often there are times where you might not want to share or speak your voice because maybe you sense that it's just not the right time or it's just that you would rather not speak about the topic that's being discussed or you don't necessarily like the person's energy in that moment in time. Whatever it is that keeps you from sharing your voice, you know, there's some intuition, you can listen to that. There's no need to rush in and speak all the time. There's definitely no need to always have to do talk therapy and talk through all and every single one of your problems. Sometimes an overlook of the whole situation is all that's needed. Not taking everything personally, right? Um, now, though, you can allow your throat to speak more openly you've gotten to a space where what what it is that you have to say is actually really important and you don't need to worry about if you say something wrong <laughs> that doesn't resonate um you can change it you can always say actually you know what what i just said was maybe you know fill in the blank didn't resonate wasn't right you know blah 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 um here's what i'm thinking and feeling now so you can always correct, you can always course correct in the moment and change lanes at any time. Um, when you withhold your voice, it's it's not really expressing who you are and, you know, you're actually taking in more energy than you realise if you're being quiet all the time because you're kind of sticking on one spot with a 
something that someone's just said, whereas other people are already on to the next thing, they're already talking to the next person. They're not dwelling on it as much as you are if you're being quiet all the time. Now, I know that many of us are psychics and we're empathic, and so when we're being quiet, we're processing things, we're understanding things about ourselves and about others, and it takes some of us more time, so it really is okay. Uh, you don't need to worry about not speaking all the time. It's just that give yourself a permission to go for it, to speak. Give yourself that permission and stand up for yourself as often as you can, even if it's just two words that you, you need to say to someone, you know, like, that was mean, or, um, yeah, and this is what I feel like, and, you know, just always kind of realizing that your throat can get you to move a lot of energy, and when you block it, if you feel kind of achy in the throat, if you feel like you want to cry and you don't express it, you know, it just comes up again later on, so why not express it, you know, this frequency is being activated in you now, um, you have a voice, you want to share your voice, it's very important that you do. So, your business, what is being activated in your business? Fortune, love it, don't you just love that? Okay, so, something to do with your voice opening is going to bring you good fortune. Okay, X marks the spot, where shall I bury my treasure chest? So what is it you're really wanting to collect? What is it you're really wanting to... Um, open, so to speak, within your finances? Is it an abundance of, you know, being able to go to whatever class you want to go to and pay for it and pay for support maybe um, and not ever have to worry about it? Is it that you're building toward your perfect garden or a beautiful home? What What is it? What What treasure chest are you planting? Okay, that's a really good space to kind of air out with your thoughts, with what it is that you uh, are thinking about that's really going to be the goal for you. What is the end goal that if you had all the money in the world you would do? Um, including how would you express yourself, okay? Because this throat chakra being activated is actually what's apparently going to lead to your fortune um, in this spread anyway. So what is it that you really want? And can you claim it? I.e. can you bury your tre treasure chest? Can you decide that actually I am going to leave behind this legacy? And the legacy of fortune can be things like leaving behind a book. It can be creating a beautiful video series that you want to be your fortune or your family's fortune, you know. Many different ways to look at it. Okay. So let's just have a look at this card for now. So, okay, this is interesting. Relationships um, with your family. Which cup do I choose? <laughs> is the notion that I'm getting here is that you're a little bit unsure of who your family or your friends, depending on who you decided this reading was going to be uh, for you pertaining to, uh, you're a little bit unsure of how they f feel and think sometimes. You're kind of in an illusory state about it. Sometimes you get it right and you pick the, the good cup, so to speak, and you actually do really feel into a genuine part of them, uh, whether you're in person with them or not. And other times you pick the illusion, you pick the thing that's more like you projecting. And... You know, that can kind of linger a, a while. It can create judgment. Perhaps it can create uh, more suffering than needed. So in this case, it's really asking you to not psychically project what you think is going on with people unless it makes you and the other person feel good. Now, you won't know if it makes them feel good, but if something makes you feel good and it's not at the expense of someone else, instead it's, it's more like sharing love with them in a way like oh wow I see you and, and you actually help me to be a better version of myself even if you do even if you don't have any idea about that you know it's the things that lift you up how often are you able to um, transmute transform 
your beliefs are surrounding your family, your friends? How, how often can you see, seek to help them in some way, even if it's just sending a prayer or a good thought their way or doing something nice for them? How often can you do that? Um, and finally, that's going to lead to happy families. X marks the spot again. Interesting. Oh, would you look at that? So yeah, we have two, four, six, eight, ten of cups. I feel like that speaks for itself. Um, this is all going to come to fruition for you. Happy families, joy, peace, understanding life on a deeper level in a way that you never knew before. If you can choose the right cup. And I say the right cup, I just, I just mean joy, peace, happiness. How often can you choose it? Okay. So I've, I've actually got to go. Um, I really would love to have kind of gone through this a little bit more with you. But um, this is the collective reading for today. And I absolutely would love to do a personal one-on-one -on -one reading for you. So you can find out the details for that down below. And I'll hopefully see you there and in the next video. Take care. Bye.